Hey guys, back in the garage again. Uh, it's Monday. We are back on the uh, Old Blue Willies and we're working on the fuel tank. So just to show you guys, I got the template all done today. Uh, so it is completely uh, done on the, I guess, bottom of the tank, if you will. And then the last thing I have to do is make the top panel. So that's what this single sheet will be. Um, so I did the whole thing, the whole tank inverted. And uh, then basically when it was done, I just flipped it over um, again and did the, now I'm gonna do the top panel. And then stuff like this side under there has already been done. And then I believe if the bend order is right, this piece and this piece will be joined to the top. Uh, just to kind of get all the weld seams um, lined up and logical. But there's still going to be a ton of welding on this, a ton of templates to make. I'm not sure, quite sure how few pieces I can make it in so far. But so once the top panel is templated out, I will take an angle finder and record every angle on this tank. Uh, some of them are very easy because all these are uh, all these hard corners are 90s, but I will record all the angles and where they go. And then when I cut the template apart to try and get it to lay flat, that will give me a reference for bend angles to put back on the, the metal template. So I really like this pink foam system. Uh, some people asked what it was, and I don't know if I have a piece that shows exactly what it is, but it's essentially just this pink foam. Uh, you can get it in two inches thick or one inch thick at Home Depot, and it's uh, closed cell enough. I guess there you can see a little bit more of it lots of leftover one inch from this but I'm sure we'll have some more stuff we could make out of it but that and uh this polystyrene 3m foam insulation spray adhesive number 78 uh, this stuff is kind of icky to work with but it's not terrible it just isn't fast really and you have to keep um, constant pressure on everything so um, when you do the big template the 3d template before you you can get it close uh, just with the geometric shapes but for all the when you glue pieces together uh, basically you work it up in layers and you have to wait uh, as in put a one of these I use these a lot. These are uh, 25 pound lead shot bags from uh, like a sporting goods store. They're for uh, making, you know, like uh, shotgun shells or whatnot. But uh, they work great as uh, weights and for holding things down. Uh, the bags are, are very tough and they don't typically, um, you know, as long as you're not welding on them or something, don't do that. Uh, you know getting sparks on them and such they're just a really heavy canvas and so you can you can use these for a long time these are are years old and I use them very very often on sheet metal projects to hold things um, so that's a couple tips for how this stuff goes together so I guess tomorrow we'll get this top panel cut out and then we will uh, flip this thing. Well, actually we'll record all the angles and then we will flip this thing over and attempt to pull the 3D model out and, and do some unfolding on it. So might have to make some, <laughs> some arts and crafts for that as far as trying to figure out the bend order. Um, oh, I can show you guys. I had a couple people ask on uh, what the brake I use. Uh, so it's shoved over here in the corner right now, but I have one of these Eastwood 
uh, mag brake. So it's a 48 inch wide magnetic brake that will do up to 16 gauge, uh, 48 inches wide and, and let you do all kinds of neat things. So I've got one of those that I'll be using on this project. So thanks for following along guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like there's a bell over here, I think down here and then uh, make sure follow along. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.